Welcome to Uncle's Channel. Thanks for watching today. And it appears that Gargoyles is finally coming back to TV, except it's not going to be an animated show this time. It's going to be a live action show. It's going to be coming to Disney+. Plus. Now, we don't know a lot of details as far as, like, you know, who the cast is going to be, the actors and the actresses. But we do know who's going to be uh, writing it. We know who's going to be directing it. And uh, we have a little bit of a blurb about what the story or the uh, plot line for the show is going to be. Because it's not going to be exactly like the cartoon. And that's the only part I'm a little bit worried about. But let's go ahead and dive into some of it here. Now, according to Variety, they had a little bit of an interview here about it, and they said the current logline for the project reads, based on the cult classic Disney animated series, Goliath is the last of a heroic race of gargoyle warriors who once lived among mankind. Free from centuries-long curse that turned him into stone, Goliath struggles to solve the mystery of his past while watching over modern-day New York City alongside police detective Eliza Maza. So right there, we have the basic storyline for the new TV show. And um, on one side, like, I'm pretty excited about it because it's a gargoyle show coming back. I love gargoyles. And I love that, you know, it's the uh, creator simply behind it once again. However, I'm a little bit concerned as far as, like, taking out the entire cast of characters here. The only main character that we have is going to be Goliath. He's the last of the heroic race of gargoyles, it says, which means that he is the only one. So there's no Lexington or Brooklyn or Hudson or Bronx or um, Broadway. I think that's all of them. But uh, there's no, uh, Demona's not going to be in there as well. And so, like, there's a lot that's, um, I guess, missing from this, this little blurb here. And they may end up changing some of this as the show gets developed a little bit. I know some people have mentioned that it may only be focused on Goliath because it's going to be a uh, too much of a cost-effective show, or too um, not cost-effective, too much of a costly show to animate and do all the animatronics or whatever they're going to do with this for the entire cast of Gargoyles. And um, that may or may not be true. I don't know. But, um, man, I really did love like the entire ensemble of all the characters in Gargoyles. And uh, if they're going to really just strip it down to just Goliath... I don't know. That's a little bit disappointing to me. I'll still watch the show. I'm still excited what they're going to do with it, um, especially when we talk about who the uh, writer and the uh, producer here is going to be. But um, I don't know. I am a little bit disappointed, I'll admit, that we're not going to get the entire cast of the Gargoyles, and at least initially, for the show. Now let's talk about who the uh, writer and director of this, going, this show is going to be. It's going to be written by Gary Doberman and directed by James Wan. And the company that they work for is called Atomic Monster. And that's the company that they've pretty much created. Now Gary Doberman, outside of Atomic Monster, he, he wrote uh, It Part 1, It Part 2, which were uh, very excellent uh, horror movies. And um, truth be told, like their company focuses mostly on horror movies as well. Like they have the pretty much all the uh, side projects or side spin-offs of the Conjury movies, like Annabelle or The Nun, um, another Annabelle movie. I'm looking at them here. Uh, they did the Mortal Kombat movie, another Conjury movie. Malignant, I never actually saw, but I was interested in seeing that one. I never did. Megan, you know, take what you want for it. It was a funny little movie on its own. And um, they got a Salem Lot, Salem's Lot film coming up. I didn't know that. Um, regardless, they got a lot of stuff coming up. Oh. And uh, Gary Doberman also uh, created the uh, Swamp Thing show that was on DC. They got really good reviews and was canceled after one season, which uh, disappointed many, many people out there. But um, Gargoyles, I'm really excited for it. Now, some people have mentioned that maybe Disney is looking toward Gargoyles a little bit because their Marvel shows are not do doing really well lately. And um, they keep putting more and more Marvel shows out. And it keeps getting worse and worse reviews. And some people are saying that people are having a little bit of a superhero fatigue. And so maybe we're going to transition over to try to go for Gargoyles a little bit. And yes, I know it's still sort of superhero-ish. But this is more rooted in like, um, I guess, sort of like fantasy instead of like superhero. Yes, they, you know, they do save the day. They have the typical superhero, I guess, flair in the cartoon. But at the same time, there was so much lore behind it, so much fantasy behind it. And I feel like it just sort of fits a different um, category than your typical superhero film or superhero movie that would come through it. And so hopefully Disney will do this show complete justice and it won't be a failure of a show like uh, The Willow Show. That was a sad story. Willow came back from being the you know iconic movie from the 80s, came back of a new television show. Uh, people didn't watch it. I have to admit, I didn't watch it either. But um, no one really seemed to like the show a whole lot. And then they even took it off of streaming altogether. So you can't even like, watch Willow at all anymore. But that's a different story for a different day. I'm just saying, I hope that doesn't happen to the Gargoyle show, just simply because it's a uh, similarity of pulling a fantasy franchise from way back in the day, putting it on Disney+, Plus, and um, hopefully uh, the fan base will be there for it, and it won't just simply disappear like Willow. But I'm going to guess, since they've got a pretty good studio attached to it, I think they got a pretty good chance of 
of uh, making a good run with this particular show. Now, um, I am a little confused, like, whatever happened to the reboot uh, that we're going to do a live action with Jordan Peele? He wanted to do a movie of Gargoyles, and Disney wouldn't give it up to him at the time. I don't know. Personally, I'd probably rather see him have a run at Gargoyles over Atomic Monster here. But uh, either way, I think Atomic Monster has a good enough track record that they can probably do justice for the show. But what do you all think? Are you excited for a new Gargoyle show that's coming out on Disney Plus? Or are you uh, a little reluctant about it based upon the uh, plot line for it, leaving out all the main cast, at least from the ori original or the initial blurb about the show? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check my other videos listed up above. And as always, go out there, find a great game to play. Simply have a great rest of the day.